Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Machinta and I'm from the beautiful island Sri Lanka. I will tell you what is my purpose and why I started this YouTube channel. But before that, I have to tell you one thing. My video making skills are zero. Okay, but I will improve it. I will improve it for sure. And then back to why I started this YouTube channel in three, two, one. Ah, another thing. I'm totally not good at video editing. Well, I'm just a guy who likes party, travel and sports. But when this COVID situation start, we had to stay in our houses. And then I got an idea to learn new skills every week. And to record this process uh, so that you guys can also learn new skills with me. And now you guys know why I started this YouTube channel. So come join with me to learn new skills every week. And for this week, since I don't have any YouTube logo for my YouTube channel, I thought to make one of my own. To do this, I need to learn Adobe Illustrator. Let's see. I have installed the software, but I have no idea how to use it. And the tools of this software is little bit complicated and I try to figure it out by myself but I have no luck on that too. So I decided to watch YouTube tutorials and after watching YouTube tutorials 5 or 6 times it really helped me to figure it out the tools that are used in this software. Like I said, there are a lot of tools in this software, but to make a simple font and a logo, you can use curvature tool and the pencil tool. The pencil tool is used to draw on freehand and curvature tool is mainly used to make shapes and curves. You can change the thickness, color and the pattern of the lines so that you can make the font as you preferred. And for the logo, I only use the curvature tool. After 5 or 6 hours of practicing the curvature tool, you really get used to it. I referred some artwork from the Google and then I got a clear idea what I want in my logo. I tried my best to draw a simpler one because this is my first time making a logo so I needed a simple one. So what I did was I made some shapes using the curvature tool according to the reference I took and then fill it with colors and merge all the shapes until I get a proper logo. Now you guys can enjoy the time lapse I made of the process of making the logo. To make the hair, I draw some lines on the head and change the thickness and the pattern of the lines. Then you can get the texture of the hair. And for the last, I use the shape shifter tool to cut the unnecessary parts of the logo. Hope you guys 
like this video let's meet on the next week